previously on Guy's World. Where are we going, Ariana? We're going to Milan, Italy. And Italy? Yes! <laughs> Denise, can we talk for a minute? You just kind of talk over me all the time. We have 15 minutes, okay? So you're saying we don't have time. I don't have time. Let's well, talk you know about what? this later. Bye. Okay. We've been touring, so we're all over the place. <laughs> there's a little vibrator for you. There's lube and there's a pregnancy test. This is a vending machine for condoms. Is it love, sex? What do you think about this? It's no, smart. It just do it. Why don't we have this in the U.S.? I mean, you guys, we really need to eat. Come on. Okay. Come on. Hey everyone, we are having dinner with our distributor so in uh, Czech Republic. Czech Republic. He's camera shy. He's a little camera shy. <laughs> I just want to say I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Yeah. To love, yeah. to beautiful hair, to yeah. have identity. Yeah. We're just talking and I got emotional. I know. Everything we have, we put into this. Every single thing we have. You're killing me. We have that. Moments. So, I'm a little dramatic because I'm frustrated because I, I I never get to be home. I don't get to see my yeah. I don't get to see me. Yeah, I don't get to my see my dog. Yeah. It's just hard. I we know. travel so much. I know. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love you Today is the day of the workshop. Everyone is setting up right now. We have mannequin doll heads out, swag bags out. We are setting up all the colors. Girls, how are you guys doing? Hi, you are yes. doing great. Superpowers and Naked just launched here. I'm so excited for everybody to use it. We have some exclusive shades like Green Aurora and Cosmic Coral that we don't have in the US. But honestly, I don't understand. The venue is so hot. We're all hot and sweaty. You're sweating. Your back is wet a little bit. You're sweating. Oh everywhere. my god, I'm so hot. I'm so <laughs> that makes sense. It's a bit hot in here. Yeah, Why is it so hot here? <laughs> Air conditioning. Oh, I don't understand. color very special is that it is customized we need to be a little bit more social media savvy because in the US everyone's on social media right now internationally we need to step up our game right yeah we want to see your work Pasta. No. Pasta. Pasta. This pasta is paste. Paste. The same words that mean, mean two different things. things. Can you yeah. believe that? Depends it's on the accent. Hungry. I want you guys to utilize the NI series so you can see how it covers gray completely. Do different variations of your formulas. God, her hole is not big enough. <laughs> Oh, 
put three of these like in this whole section, uh -huh. and you'll see how pretty it looks. Okay. Do you see how she's kind of red? Yeah. Use the ash and see what happens. Italian words, and it seems that the only Italian words that we know is are spaghetti, food related, and spaghetti, spaghetti, spaghetti. Yes. bellissimo, 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 Is it a name or is it an actual sauce now? Alfredo sauce doesn't exist in Italy. <laughs> so where is it from? Alfredo is a name in Italy. So I think the someone named Alfredo or invented the sauce. You never had it before. <laughs> I no. think it's helpful. There's not even pasta with meatballs. So where's, where did that come from? In Italy there's ragu and it's meatball but crushed. But no meatballs. Do you have prego? What's Prego? What's yeah. Prego? Prego is Prego. The, you're welcome in Italy. You're welcome. Oh. Okay. So basically, we've been lied to our whole lives growing up, oh. thinking spaghetti is with meatballs. Yeah. And thinking fettuccine Alfredo is real. Yeah. My feelings are hurt. So what do you think about the Hawaiian pizza with the, the pineapples and ham on it? You think that that is a pizza? You've never eaten a pizza. It's impossible. Pineapples don't go to pizza. <laughs> well, I was just asking. Oh my god. Carlo, yeah. I need to know. He told me that there's no meatballs. That's American. Pasta with sauce and meatballs? Yeah, yeah, it's real. He told me it's not. Can we go confront him? He said there is spaghetti and meatballs. Okay. No, there aren't. No, there are. How do you find uh, them? Oh, you're gonna Google it. One polpettine. And that's meatballs. Yeah, well, more, more, more. American meatballs. Oh, you, oh, you're trying to say American meatballs are too big. I think Americans generally... Balls are bigger. Have you got the Domino's? No. I don't trust it. <laughs> Oh. Wait, what are you oh. doing, Ed? Oh. Are you playing with my nipples? Ooh. We're having this PR event here. How many interviews do we have? Two one-on-one, -on -one, and then you'll have a group interview. I'm excited. Let's see what happens. Can I sit like this? I flew all the way from LA and I represent the line I created called My Identity. We have amazing hairdressers I formed a bond with for probably over the last five to six years. Meeting so many hair besties face to face is what keeps me going. I always believe that we're always more than just doing someone's hair, providing a service, but we're everything and then some. I believe friendship and relationship always come first. People forget to build a relationship. I want a, a color line that has a heart behind it, an emotion, have a pulse. I feel like an American Idol judge or something. <laughs> <laughs> to me, an activist is someone who stands up for justice, who wants to stand up for equality in everything, not just hair. I want to be an activist for anyone in this industry or in the world who feels outcasted. Someone who might have a different sexual preference. Someone might have a different ethnicity and society stereotype them. Someone who may not aesthetically look the way Hollywood want them to look and they don't feel beautiful enough. My YouTube channel has always been that platform for me to stand up for the human race because when I grew up, I never had that. In the 80s, it's TV and magazines. I was fed like what is beautiful. I never see anyone that looked like me. I never felt like I was good enough. How about you just go make me an egg roll? I need to go do kung fu or something because that's what Hollywood films embed in my head. Why can't I make a difference? If I have a platform like YouTube and I have a voice to make a difference, I'm gonna share that voice. Spaghetti. Spaghetti! I don't know, I kind of want pasta. Oh my god, the knife attaches itself. I, I forget it's magnetic. It's your magnetic personality. <laughs> oh, look at that!
Milana. Oh, that's yeah. perfect. I haven't found anyone words like yours. It's the best. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Yes. The warmth of your page, the love that you give to your fans. I love you for the person you are. I, I think I'm inspired by you now, Milana. Yes. <laughs> yes. Actually, you're the first celebrity I have ever met. The most memorable day in my life. Guys, that's the end of our trip here in Milan. How you guys feel? I'm so happy we got to come and meet the hair besties here. It was so much fun. We ate pasta like every single day for like and a week. Pizza, pizza pasta. pasta. I can't wait to go home because guess what, guys? We're filming so many fun, exciting tutorials and projects. All right, guys, I just got back from Milan and we did the Stroke 7 video with Jordan. Her hair looks amazing. <laughs> we're at your apartment right now and we're writing a song together. This song means a lot to me. I put everything in this little booklet here and I present it to Jordan and then we write all the musical parts that I'm like, I can't imagine. <laughs> I want an empowerment song, a song that means something. I feel like a lot of the music today is all about twerking. I want a song that empowers us and it means something. Let's write something that helps people feel again. It's called Naked Tears. I have a collection coming out called Naked to you this fall. I think the world try to put you in a box and tell you to do what you're good at only. You do hair, just do hair. Don't do anything else. I don't know if it's too simple. Do you think these lyrics no, are too boring? I, I love this. You guy. do? All the best singers in the world, you can sing for hours and hours if you sing from here instead of here, right? right? This is your solar plexus. This is your fire, your power, your confidence, where all of that comes from. And that is how you're going to express what you want to say to your followers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Huh. You feel that? Yeah, right yeah, here? Yeah. Do it for me. I am naked to you. You don't take from me. There's no shame in me. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So the song's called Naked to You. We wrote it together. It's been a beautiful project that we've written over the past couple months, months together. Months, yeah. yeah, and so wow. we've crafted this beautiful song seed and we wanted to bring this song to that level of where this can be radio ready. I'm not sure the sound I'm going for because I like so many different types of music. Mm -hmm. More like adult contemporary. I want to listen to the song on my kitchen floor crying while eating cheesecake. Can you handle that? Yeah. Just kind of more of like a raw vibe. Yeah. yeah. We definitely want to do a remix as yeah. well. A little EDM. So how about this? Uh, let me, I want to hear kind of like the chords that you came up with. So why don't we have you play on the piano okay. and uh, I can get an idea of like how the song sounds. Awesome, Let's perfect. Yeah. Awesome, Come let's on. do it. Next time on Guy's World. One set of my video shoot, hashtag naked to you. So I'm so excited to share the video with all of the hair besties. We're gonna be showing you guys lots of behind the scenes, a lot of excitement. Set, let's roll playback.